Hello, this is how I chose. So I chose to break down my um, monitoring chart into four parts. So I have the fraction of labor, so breaking it up into um, four pieces, the driveway breaking up the driveway into four pieces. And then the next one was my um, misinformed kind of like, oh, I thought I noticed that a lot of students um, had 20 minutes. And I think the best explanation was that that's the uh, if they worked at the average rate of 30 minutes. And my third group was um, subtracting fractions. So I noticed that a couple of the students were um, subtracting um, fractions, and I'll go ahead and explain why in a little bit. And then um, we also have a system of equations. So that would be um, work equals the rate times time for each girl. Um, yeah, so I think the way I sequenced it was um, going ahead and addressing the misinformed uh, 20 minutes first. And I actually wanted to um, comment on my follow-up questions. So really the main question I think would be, um, if they got 20 minutes, why does it take Bertha um, 20 minutes? So why does she clean faster when she's working by herself than when she's working with Gertrude where they work? and they make, um, it takes them 30 minutes. So like, why do they think that is? And I think addressing that as a question um, would help them think about it a little bit more. Um, I really liked how Anna said, it says that I know that Bertha took 20 minutes because um, 30 minutes is what you get when you average their time, right? So if you take the 40 minutes plus, 40 minutes plus um, Bertha's rate, right, divided by two, because it's two of them, um, then you would get um, the 30 minutes, right? So that's why she got 20 minutes. And I think that's the best explanation for why that is. And then uh, again, a way to address that is like, why do you think um, Bertha work, works faster by herself, right? And then after that, I would um, like to address the system of equations. I really like how Allison um, play, put it together. So you can see right here that for her work equals rate times the time, right? And because of that, she's decided that one driveway, right? One, one work um, would equal the rate of um, Gertrude um, times the 30 minutes plus the rate of Bertha um, times 30 minutes, right? That would be one equation. And then her second equation would be just um, Gertrude working by herself. It takes her one, um, one driveway would equal the rate of Gertrude times the 40 minutes, which would come out to be, um, so you can see Gertrude takes 40 minutes to, to finish one driveway. So therefore um, she takes, her rate is one over 40, right? If you would set up this equation without including, oops, yes, um, without including um, Gertrude, without including Bertha, just Gertrude, you would get that and the time would be 40 minutes and then, um, so. So Gertrude's would be 30 minutes and then it's just uh, solving, right? Solving system of equations. Um, chart. Yeah. So, yeah, so you just get, um, you plug that back in here, right? Gertrude's rate is um, 140, so three fourths equals one. So then you would get, um, you would get, this equation here um, would equal, uh, well, you would just solve for it eventually. And you would also get Bertha's 30, 30 uh, 120 minutes to complete the whole thing, right? So that's great. And uh, I think I explained it a little bit more here. Yeah, no, just that. And then finally, um, after her, I would definitely put the next equation, the um, subtracting fractions. So here we have Alex's work. So I, I really like how he explained it. He said that if um, it takes uh, Gertrude and um, Bertha 30 minutes, then their rate is one over 30, right? And then we have Gertrude's rate is one over 40, and then plus Gertrude's rate, which is one over the variable B. Right, so then we solve for the B, right? And then, so you would have to subtract 
um, 1 over 40 on both sides, and you would end up with 1 over 20 equals 1 over 40. So then um, you would get 20, 120, 120 minutes for Bertha's again. And then if we go down here, we can connect both equations. Allison's equation, um, we should go back to Allison's equation. So here was Allison's equation. Um, so 1 over 30, or 1 over 1 equals 30G plus 30B. And if we look at um, Alex's equation, we have 1 over 30 equals 1 over 40 plus 1 over 50, 1 over B. So um, we could, if we divide Allison's equation by 30, we actually end up with Alex's equation. So that's a cool way to connect that, those two ideas. And then finally, we look at the fraction of labor. So we look at Abigail, I really like how Abigail broke down the problem, right? So if Gertrude um, works, it takes her 40 minutes to finish the whole thing. If you half that, then it takes her 20 minutes to finish half. And if you half that, then it takes her um, 10 minutes to finish one fourth, right? And then she showed here, oh, then in 30 minutes, if Gertrude is working at the same rate, then she finishes three fourths of the driveway and she just shows it visually. So then that remains um, one fourth of the driveway. Um, and then Gertrude, Bertha, Bertha is working for one fourth of the driveway for 30 minutes. So then if we want to get how long it would take her to work in the whole driveway, we would take um, 30 times four and that would give us 120 minutes. And then in order to connect those ideas, we would look back to um, Allison's equation one more time, right? Because we have uh, Gertrude rate. Um, if we look at her equation, and go back to her equation. If we look in here, right? If we plug in the rate of Gertrude here, we would get 30 times one over 40, which is three fourths, right? Three fourths of the driveway, which is right here, visually three fourths of the driveway. And then once we find um, Gertrude's rate, right, which is one over um, 20, so 30 times one over um, 20 is one fourth, one fourth of the driveway, right, is that little orange piece here on Abigail's graph or chart. Um, so then and we can see that one third and one fourth equals one driveway. So that's what we get in Allison's equation. So I thought that was a really good way of connecting um, all of them, right? And then for the, again, the misinformed is just, oh, that would be the average time, right? If it were, if they were working for an average um, of 30 minutes, but it doesn't make sense in the sense that Bertha would be working faster by herself than together. Um, yeah, that's 